Hi, I'm Steve Fulgoni and today we're in my wood turning shop and today we are going to turn a Bradford pear bowl. Uh, Bradford pear is very easy to turn, although it will um, move a little bit during the drying process. So we're going to rough turn this today, come back in two months or so, finish it up and then uh, use this piece as a palette for wood burning or coloring or something like that. Uh, we're here on the Robust AB25 using a Hurricane HTC 100 chuck, uh, large dovetail jaws with a screw chuck. I pre-drilled a hole in here and let's mount it. So I'm using the lathe power to help me thread this screw. Don't do this of course if you have a lathe that doesn't get down to very slow speeds. Okay, lock the headstock, tighten it up a little more, okay on this robust lathe we really don't need the headstock, uh, the tailstock. But if you have a smaller lathe, you might want to do it. So I'll show you the process. We'll bring the tailstock in here for support. All right, the tool we're going to be using here is a Hurricane CPM 10V bowl gouge set with a uh, 65 degree front bevel and a large wing. We're going to use the side of this tool here as a scraper and we'll knock these corners off. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to use the side of the tip, uh, side of the tool right here. Take a look. As you can see, that's just a rough cut. Going to take the tailstock away. So I have access to the whole front of the bowl here. Now let's let's uh, let's get a closer look at that. This surface is not flat, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, once again, I'm going to use this wing of the tool, completely rolled over in a horizontal fashion and use it as a scraper. Nice gentle cuts. I'll move the tool out a little bit this way, which means I take less of a cut. Okay, move my tool rest just a little bit. Start to take this corner off here.
Okay. Have a check there on the bottom there. I'm going to take that off. Take about a quarter. I'll take. Still a little check right there. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna make the foot, a tenon on the bottom of the bowl here. Gonna use the uh, HTC 100 chuck again. Here I'm going to use the small dovetail jaws. I'm going to set my calipers so that I'm uh, have plenty of room to expand these chuck jaws and squeeze down on the tenon. I'm going to slow my speed down just a little bit and I'm going to use these calipers to scribe a circle. That should be fine. My tool rest was a little low there, but that's okay. Start to make that tenon. Now I'm going to use a, uh, a scraper, which I've ground to match the inside of the dovetail shape. Come in here. That should be fine. Now we're ready to do the shaping on the outside of the bowl. We're going to take this and we're going to knock off this corner and blend this a little bit. Blend this in just a little bit. Take my swept back gouge just to do a little rough shaping. Okay, now I'm over to, same thing, CPM 10V tool, this time with a 50 degree bevel in the front, shorter wing. And I'm going to use this in a push cut to come around and give me a nice finish across the bottom of the bowl. Okay, and that finish is fine for our rough uh, roughing out purposes. Of course, I wasn't paying attention. I shouldn't say that. I was doing too much talking. And uh, I went through my surface here. So let's go back to the dovetail scraping tool again. Tool rest is just a little bit low. Okay, and that should be fine. Want to clean up my shape just a little bit. 
have a little bit of a bump here. Of course, another way to do that is with a shear cut. Again, I went back to my uh, long wing tool. Going to use this side here. Roll it over almost entirely. Hold the gouge up to about a 45 degree presentation to the wood. Okay, nice fine shavings. Okay, and that's fine. We have this, uh, the pith right here. And we have a uh, cutout here. So this bowl is going to end up, top rim of the bowl is going to be somewhere around here. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Remember, when you're seating your bowl back into your chuck, you need to take a look there. There we go. You can see here that uh, it's not a straight tenon. It's a dovetail shape to match the interior of these dovetail jaws here. And also, I have a flat surface here which sits against this face. Very, very important. Apply pressure so when you tighten this in. And keep in mind, a lot of people, a lot of people love to use the serrated jaws, but a dovetail jaw is much more secure. <clears throat> much more secure than serrated. Okay, we'll turn on, see a little better. <clears throat> now we're going to level out the surface again using the same cut as before. Again, the cut here is 
We're going to be using, this is a roughing cut, just to take down this surface here. Going to be using the gouge over on its side, handle horizontal. If you want to be a little bit more efficient, but also a little more aggressive, you can turn the handle down just a touch and open up the flute just a touch, but be really, really careful because it will get grabby. You're feeling that check out here? So rather than take a big cut, which would be this way, engaging the whole wing of the tool, I move my body out, so I'm engaging more just to the tip of the tool. Okay, I have a pith here, so we'll take it down just a little bit more. That'll be fine for now. Still have, still have just a touch of the pith there. Okay, now I'm going to switch back over to my 50 degree tool now for successful entry without a skate like that you want the tool parallel to the bed of the lathe and you want the face of the tool the flutes at 90 degrees so my flute here is pointing that way if you open up the flute at this point before you have a surface to rest the back bevel on, you will skate. So there we go. Once I have my entry, I can open up the flute just a little bit. Okay, what you just saw there, it's good that we got that. What you just saw there is as I came around this way, the radius in here was too steep for this angle right here. So I lost uh, contact between the uh, bevel and the heel, and I got chatter. We'll solve that problem in just a few minutes. Let's continue to take more material out as we get to the edge. Okay, I'm going to switch over now to my 65 degree tool, 65 degree tool, which is going to do a better job of coming along the bottom. Remember, I'm just roughing here. Okay, now I'm switching over to 75 degree tool, which is really only useful for the bottom of the bowl.
Okay? So what I have at this point, you can see, what I have at this point is a bowl which is, just measure my depth, within about a quarter of an inch of the bottom here. I have about three quarters of an inch of wall thickness. I'm going to do two things. This thing here, right there, that check right there, that will give me some fits in the next month or so when I'm hoping that this will dry. So I'm going to take that down just a little bit more. I'm going to use, going to use the large swept back wing. I'm going to slow the speed down just a little bit. I'm going to take a nice light cut and the way I do that is by moving my body out. So again, this will be too big of a cut. So I'm going to move my body out. Not sure if you can see that, but the width of the shaving here is mainly about an eighth of an inch. as opposed to if I turn this way, where I would get, oh, maybe a full quarter to half an inch of cut at one time. And you can see the shavings here, much smaller. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've gotten past that check. And I'm gonna do something which Mike Mahoney mentioned at the last symposium, which I thought was a great idea. I'm gonna round over the edges just a tiny bit. Actually, um, actually uh, I just rounded over the outside just a little bit. This bowl will have a tendency to check, uh, less tendency to check if I just soften that edge. I'm going to take one more cut in here. Going to take off about maybe, oh, just an eighth or so. my speed up Round that edge just a little bit. So we're all done. So there it is, rough turned Bradford pear bowl. We'll let this dry for maybe two to three months, come back, finish turning it, and it will be the palette for maybe a carved piece, maybe some wood burning or painting. So that's it. Thanks for watching today. I'm Steve Fulgoni, and this is the Wood Turning Shop.